The world's media focuses on talks to supply Iran with nuclear fuel at the IAEA's headquarters in Vienna, Austria this week. But just one floor down, a silent crisis was also being discussed. Largely ignored by the media, it's the world's biggest killer, cancer, and the imminent pandemic that will hit the developing world. Within 20 years, 70% of cancer patients will be in low-income countries. My big concern for the future is the growth of the number of new cases which is going to occur, its impact on families, its impact on premature death. But that's, that's the major thing which is going to happen, that's the major priority that we've got to face up to, doing something about just now the human aspects of the growth which is going to take place in cancer. Today, about a quarter of all the world's cancer is found in China, and as the population ages and the effect of risk factors such as cigarette smoking takes hold, cancers will surge. China's just a model. India's going to be the same, Indonesia, Nigeria, Turkey, Russia, all these countries with huge populations are going to go through the same experience in the next 20 to 30 years. For many, cancer is a disease of great shame and pain, with few, if any, options for treatment. 27 countries in Africa have no radiotherapy services at all. No screening, no diagnosis, no palliative care. Especially if you look at cancers of women like cervical cancer or breast cancer, those are lots of women who die unnecessarily uh, can, can be cured and that is why we think the IEA is in a position to intervene and help those countries. The IAEA and its program of action for cancer therapy is teaming with others in the cancer control fight to build a greater global force against the disease. It's training local staff and identifying countries' most pressing cancer needs so that donors can respond effectively. This isn't rocket science. It's about understanding and applying what we know. And this work isn't sexy. It's not glamorous. It's not, uh, it's not the kind of science that gets people on fire. Uh, it, it, what it does do, though, is, is reach into the hearts and minds of people. And now we have to reach into the pockets of, of huge governments, of government agencies, of people to make the commitment and have the political will to make all of the treatment, screening and diagnosis that, that we enjoy and have in developing countries available in one form or another in low resource countries. For those stuck in the endless queue for treatment, this cannot come fast enough.